Gifuna ukuthi ethi mekhuluma nawe ukuthi phafu isitamqoke emlomeni. Gifuna vela ninuka amacimba. How disgusting are you? How weak are you? How insecure are you, Gogma Weni? Hello, my sugar binga bungas. I have one question for you. You know where the danger is? Do you know where the danger is? Because if you don't know, then your life might end up being in danger. My life has been in danger. <laughs> Honey child, Gog Maweezy, aka Dr. Maweni, came for the mistresses. She came for the side chicks. She told the potential home wreckers where to get. Off. She said, if you dare come for my man, if you dare make my husband cheat on me, bombastic side eye, I will show you flames. Gizobonisa amabeli nezima zenyoka petalezi gizokombisa uguti ilanch ba epsweni iyinto enjani gobangizok shangis tito esna sugumi panti i will curse you i will ruin your life not only your skin mind you i will make you look like a monster but even nga pagati inga pagati lako lizoba inyova dem ngela ugonifundisa i trick a one two I could make Dalla into Lenazimina into Diami, my cheater. Agna Mutongas with you, Sabelu Zalanam. Joe Banani, Agna Mutongas with Suzwana and Leon to Talia, my into Tayakon Gimpel. As the sign remains, well, we now you kill. We've got social media, we've got your pictures, we've got your names, we've got your surnames. Sitila now you go twelve. A sali na mantumba zana tin. Ay, a silvi. Mina vele nyak chara wuzi anglas kati so go rasa ang loge ng rasa lawe. Ubuzu tui funa nindo tayam. Sanas kati so glu lindota. Twenty twenty two. Sis lindota. Mina futa nyi lwe lindota. Mdila nawe yas. Dila nawe wa twelve. Shine is trito. Bonisi lunch pipe swin bark shiny sing is tweet for me and slash. So Dila now with twelve o'clock. Social media has made it very easy. Very, very easy. All I need is your picture, your name, and surname. Give up easy. Lala in a yendo dam. Lala yendo dam was born. She said, Not only will I ruin your face, I will ruin your entire life. Guys, what you need to understand about Istrito is that it ruins everything. It damages, it destroys, it kills. Ubane stina, ubane minriza, uya lasekelwa, uya felwa, izinto zako ziya shabalala, unga understand, uguti kwenzenjani, what's going on, where did I go wrong? Is Trito is insane. Is Trito is so dark. Is Trito is so evil. Is Trito is powerful enough to turn your entire life upside down. Ula shegelo im sebenzi. Upunyugelo amatuba im sebenzi. Uso aman bengu. Gezantla zombi velictua. A suck phone. We are stick. We are snyanisa. Utu sabata ubambanga pananga papunyugian. Ushayum tanda zum nani los lacoli to book git del and gossiam utingri amanya matub. Ushayum tanda zum nani los lacoli to book git del and nani utingri um sebens. Utu sashlelingam nandi lapis in the vele moshagal velu cavan in our wonko mutu. It possia ho would take slans of sapa sap. My it bona. Romantic relationships, yo. Koshwa, unuga pu, is amkoko, uvelu nugi kaka. Uvelenjo, unuge ama chimba, ungazu, utigona gelepi. 
indoor dating ah it's mm, ngavele nganyanya your friendships disintegrate everything around you everything with in you everything connected to you falls apart and you never ever understand why until you consult and you find out ukuthi ha bakhlabe ngesichitho ngidabukela laba ke asebezi khohliwe ukuthi bangobani nalaba bangazazi ukuthi bangabantu abampisholo who have many layers to them and therefore kumele babuyele emasisuen guze batole ikuniso and in order to reverse that curse in order to undo the effects of that muti a lot needs to be done and unfortunately sometimes if you're unable to fully completely and totally reverse that curse and undo the effects of that muti that's how dangerous is trito is and that's how dangerous a scorned woman is and dr mawizi knows for a fact that there are a lot of women in this position and so she's using this as a marketing strategy pure genius if you ask me brilliant because she might not do it yen herself but she knows guti there are many people in that particular position there are gazillions of married women who are mistreated cheated on by their husbands and who are targeted by these side chicks who are targeted by these loose and immoral women whose dating preference just so happens to be married men yup you heard me right but tshela kahle empempeni ukuthi asimfune yedwa simfune nawe ke bora maye yedwa we don't want a single man we want them married it's more fun it's more exciting it's more thrilling that way because we want to show you who's who in the zoo we want to show you how powerful our coochies are we want to show you that we're able to enter ruin and take over your relationship and because according to them married women are at the very top of the hierarchical ladder and because of that they start to feel themselves too much for the liking of other women they start to carry themselves as though ibona ibona they begin to regard themselves far too highly for the liking of unmarried women and it grates the tits of unmarried women to the point where they feel the need to humble them and the only way to do that is to enter shiku pagati into that beautiful sacred union of theirs in order for them to feel as miserable and as bitter as these unmarried women feel these are chats that i've heard being had among many unmarried women and i feel that it is such a damn shame it is so sad it is so scary that women can't enjoy their beautiful relationships women can't enjoy their healthy marriages because there are people who are constantly eyeing their happiness there are people who are constantly eyeing their joy not in a positive manner but using the evil eye and to them it makes absolutely no sense why these women were chosen over them why her what is it about her that makes her so deserving of such a gift of such a blessing of such a sacred union i'm a baddy i puts it down so why is nobody wifing me up and so they create this whole anti marriage movement and brigade where they try to demonize marriage where they try to diminish how much of a blessing it is and where they try to belittle marriage and married women or married couples because what else can they possibly do they haven't attained it it's beyond their reach so what do you do when you feel that way you put down the people who have already attained what you desire to attain 
so that they feel as horrible as you feel about yourself so that they may start to question whether you are right especially if you recruit other people to join in in this movement and you're like this is bad this holds you back this isn't as glamorous or as beautiful or as advantageous as people make it seem because you know that there is power in numbers and the more people that are recruited into this movement and the more it is demonized more and more negative words connotations and stigmas become attached to it and in that way more people stop believing in it more people join that anti-marriage brigade and that toxic feminism movement and people are taught and convinced that it's better to sleep around to share yourself your energy your soul with everything that moves and that is what is called liberation they teach people and especially young impressionable black girls toxicity so they can lead them astray so they can be convinced that promiscuity is the way to go and so they can aspire to be savages who don't value commitment and who just share themselves with anything that breeds and they convince them that it's okay to go around procreating with anyone whenever you feel like it even in the absence of a solid family structure that will enable your offspring to grow up as decent human beings that will enable your offspring to be reared correctly to be brought up in a healthy loving home so trust and believe god mawizi knows and understands how toxic and messy it is out there and she knows that her customers are awaiting a savior like her god hmm koninte ofla ukhona okunuka santungwana yes i partly get where dr mawizi is coming from because there are countless evil vile dark hearted dirty women who target married men simply and purely out of jealousy of the married women and oh they will beat their chests denying this and trying to justify their demonic actions but deep down they know the truth they even go as far as arguing that a a a a a is katele is katele ba fa za ba shadile always trying to belittle us trying to make us feel small always trying to make us feel insignificant simply because nobody has chosen us and we won't be chosen and nobody will ever take us seriously and wife us therefore we need to teach them a lesson we need to show them that kahle kahle ain't nobody jealous of you kahle kahle we don't desire what you have or kala your husband is cheating on you basho lapho their boyfriends are cheating on them left right and center so uba no ngcono ubani ongcono ngoba niyadlalwa nonke but in most cases that statement is not based on facts people presume people assume people conclude in order to console themselves while in their miserable dark lonely corners of singledom hey 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 deal with the guy hey hey you <laughs> even though he's not going to do that he doesn't entertain nonsense 
And I'm talking about people who are actually miserable while single because there are people who absolutely love and enjoy being single. I was one of them. I thoroughly enjoyed being single. There was nothing in this world for me that would make me even crave a relationship or marriage. I was so ooh, hands off me because I was having the time of my life and I vowed that I would never get into a relationship with anybody unless they made me feel better, happier, healthier, and way more joyful than I ever was when I was single. Only then will I give a person a chance to be with me. And if they ever show me their butt, they would be out the door. I practiced that until I met my match. I practiced that until I met someone who is out of this world, out of this world. And I was like, this is it. Never would I ever settle for anything less than I got way more than I prayed for, way more than I bargained for with my ancestors and my God and my guardian angels. They said, because you've put in the time, the effort, the work, you are a good person and you deserve it. And you're not the type of person who goes around spreading negative thoughts and ideas and your misery unto other people so that they end up being recruited into something that will set them back, that will cause regression amongst our people. You're not that type. You deserve the cream of the crop and that is exactly what we will give you. And I was like, oh my, 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 why thank you. But then what happens when things get serious and he stops talking about the M word? I cannot, I, I just, I, 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 and for the longest time when my boyfriend at the time, who is now my husband, would talk marriage, I would just be like, oh, Stop it. I wouldn't take him seriously. I would brush it off. I would change the subject. I would do anything to just avoid that topic because I was just like, no, I have so many issues surrounding that topic because I've been fed so much poison and it came from so many unmarried, miserable women. But also I've witnessed a number of unhealthy marriages and unhappy wives. I don't want to become that. I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to become another sad statistic. And they said, nope, that won't happen. Those are their experiences. Those people that you pity so much got into those relationships. They saw the red flags. They ignored them and they prioritized the ring instead of the actual marriage. They prioritized the wedding and the flexing that comes with it instead of the actual union. They knew exactly who they were dealing with, but they didn't understand what marriage entails. Therefore, they jumped into something that does not align with who they are and the qualities that they possess. There are people who are disrespectful, who rush into marriages. There are people who are promiscuous, but who want to be married. There are people who have so many unhealed traumas and dark, deep rooted issues that they have not confronted and dealt with, yet they want to step into marriage. Those things completely oppose what marriage stands for. And that is why their marriages fail. People don't know themselves and they don't know what they want. And they rush into something that they don't know nor understand. How do you expect it to be successful? But because we know that you know yourself and you know exactly what it is you want and you understand what marriage entails, we will give it to you. We will bless you with this gift and you will enjoy it until the end of time. So don't you dare. We don't ever want to hear you 
thinking like that ever again because you are not them. Your life, your gifts, your blessings are not set up like theirs. So don't you ever base your decisions on other people's experiences. And I said, I bet. And I've never looked back since then. But I really want us to talk about the cheating part. Oftentimes, and I say oftentimes because in some special cases, people are forced to do things that they don't intend to do. And I'll talk about that in a few. But in most cases, nobody is ever forced to cheat. People cheat because they want to. People cheat because they don't respect their partners, their relationships, their marriages, and simply because they do not love their partners or themselves for that matter. I don't care how people try to justify it and explain it and sugarcoat it and sprinkle salt and spice on it. Anizitandi. Ifebe azizitandi. And that's on period. And la Lela, it's 2022. We have evolved. We are educated. We are open-minded. We know for a fact that it isn't natural. That it isn't because men are wired that way. They were taught that nonsense. They were taught that rubbish. And if they wanted to, they would unlearn it. But in most cases, they don't want to unlearn it because it benefits them. They get to do as they please. So when are we going to start holding men accountable for their disgusting behavior? Cheating is not a mistake. It's a choice. There's a lot of thinking that goes into it. Nobody is wired to be as firm. You do it because you want to. Men are human beings just as women are. And Aban Bespazani Bawas was bamba. Bawas was oka. They know how to respect themselves, their partners, and their relationships. And they know how to remain faithful to their partners from the very beginning of the relationship until the wheels fall off. Nifluainin. So we need to stop giving them a pass because they know exactly what they're doing. And if we keep allowing them and if we keep enabling them, they will continue to do this nonsense because we keep making excuses for them and we keep blaming other women for the indiscretions of our men. Nobody's totolozi accidentally falls into a push, eh? Nia khala, nia swabi, sa nia 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 sa futa niz tandi. Na bantu benu futa anba tandi. Love and cheating do not and will never go together because cheating comes with a lot of agony and love is not supposed to hurt. It may have ups and downs, it may have challenges, but I guarantee you, they do not include cheating, which is also a form of abuse, mind you. The psychological and emotional abuse that comes with cheating do not get me started. Therefore, I'm not a fan of the way I'm going to is a justified peto. Yes, pete lunch. And Abanyabet and Gegeba Begazelele Law Tuvi. And I'm happy to see that the Begazella Brigade is decreasing exponentially. I love it. I love to see it. But Dr. Mawizi said something very interesting and very eye opening. She said, Social media has made it very easy for witches to practice witchcraft. All it takes is your name, your surname, and your picture, and you are done for. They can do whatever it is they want to do to you. And in most cases, you won't even know where the attack came from. <coughs> that is mind-blowing. That is scary. 
The fact that social media makes us so vulnerable to the darkness of this world, to the evils of this world is just whew, frightening and appalling considering the fact that it's supposed to be used as a tool to connect us, promote us, motivate us to do better in life. When you see people doing well, be it through exercise, their jobs, their hustles on social media, you're motivated to get up and do your thing. You're able to communicate with people you haven't communicated with in ages. You're able to rekindle sparks through social media. You're able to keep in touch with your loved ones no matter where you are in the world via social media. It was supposed to be something beautiful. So it's very sad. It's very unfortunate. And it's very frightening that it can be used to fulfill dark and evil purposes. Which brings me to the point that I previously made that in special cases, people are made to do things that they don't want to do, that they aren't even aware of. And it sends shivers down my spine to learn that there are so many channels that are popping up left, right and center that teach people how to practice witchcraft. All it takes is your picture, your name, and your surname, and someone can turn you into umkov. Umundanga pashisa manji. Upelelo yo yonkinto. Umundanga wenza iskula sa ke agwenze umgiji mi wa ke akchel wuti yenzu wuti ngalis kat. Umgenzu wuti ang fun uzozo angam. And then people wonder why people don't post their partners. It's not because people are scared that they're going to cheat on them. I'm talking about people who know who they are and who don't have self-esteem issues. These people know how sick, how jealous and vicious people are out there. How people desire other people's lives and are willing to do whatever it takes to be in the shoes of those people that they envy or if they can't then they are willing to do whatever it takes to ruin the lives of the people that they envy. We are talking about post to mundo ako gamnandi. Ako nagele lutz. We are chable lutz. Eh, ko sa mga sema tanduani. Gipetro gamnandi. Gipetro ento front off. The evil eye is busy watching, lurking. Imagine a person saving your partner or your husband's picture. Ati makata kata makata kata mak pelego ng kengoli. Tanto ba yena? Yindaba ina zo patwa ntofonto fo yetwa. Yindaba ina zo shatwa. Tina skage gili. Ama tote tes febele shaya. Enga tabangi shu tabanga. Ukuzo stele magiti. We na maanda mpungo se. O mye niga li. Gifunu mzo nduli yunga busa mfuna. Gifunu mshay mkapazu. Sapa sapa. Gifunu kuti eti me kuluma nawe. Kuti pafu. Istamko ke mlomen. Gifunu vela nunga machimba. Gifunu velu mnyanyi. Gifunu velu hamu sasa nkui kisha yonki ndao hamu lala na wonku mtu uba eta banga nbaki, ulale na banga nbaki, umkete nya, mshepu linkizi yu mtablu moya, umpetu li ngayo yonki njelonga mpetu la ngayo li, nye sizu ngaye. Njenga manje, wena, manja, yenza lente shiwe min, done. Done. That's how sick people are. And if there's one thing that I've learned in this life is that you have to protect your blessings. If you value something, you've got to protect it with all you have. Because we live amongst demons. We live amongst the actual devil. The devil resides in these people that Tina, I see Jalukba's hand. Nay, Dranger Foot, Ave no Mona, let's not overlook that slogan species. Bugaba settle in words. Nay, Dranger Ave no Mona, because Zikagagile, Salabum Yame, Nayawe, and Jolile. Zibugin Pilo Zabant, Umona. Bile nga pagati, besi zi akala zi atagati zi nja. Mkla besi pila guonagi lo. And so at first I was like, skr, fuck is you talking about Gokma Weezy? What do you mean you're going to deal with the other woman when your husband is the issue here? What do you mean you're going to deal with the other woman when inja yako, umko doyi wako, is the one who failed to keep it in his pants. What do you mean, Mauti? 12 o'clock, Udila nintomba zane ya bantu, uimoshela not only iskumba, but impilo yonke, yayo, 
jikelele. Egbeni ulele etuze komkotoi. Who failed to honor and keep his vows. What do you mean? How disgusting are you? How weak are you? How insecure are you, Gokmaweni? There are women who target married men. But no man, as a married man, when a woman approaches you, Mchela Gasu say, when Zan went to Gilan, we ask Wutin Shati Lufunan for sex, so It's your duty. You owe your wife that loyalty and that respect. So that's not blame about Miss Fazani because you're in control. The power is in your hands. So still, kumela gutilwe now and go baga shega su sata nela. No muta tizevi streets. Uwena mkoto indin. Uwena non din dwa wendo dandin. And I was like, but Dr. Mawizi knows exactly what she's talking about because she knows that she is a woman who 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 is a Abanya ba nob, go ba i bandla, im kulego nim iho, ya banya bantu ay kulega. Kulega ay kobi. In tim bekdal, itezu kobolwai. Bese guba konabantaba koshwa in shu kuleg. Tolu gutumundu ilungele, they don't deserve any of the ish that happens to them, but because aba kulek. But because they don't take unkulungulu or anything for that matter seriously, they become easy targets. There are people who don't believe in anything. When uncle uncle, when I just when I'm a Josie, when I'm Gilosi, Dololo, nothing, nada, zilch, nix. They're probably watching me rolling their eyes, thinking, Psh, God, Jesus, ancestors, witchcraft, all these things don't exist. Little do they know, yo, Lumshabes Pilagona is a battle. Field. We are constantly fighting. Good and evil are constantly at each other's throats. Good people are constantly fighting evil spirits, while evil spirits are constantly trying to destroy good people. And yes, ukololwe tu agumele luntenga ntenge, gumele sitembe na madlozi etu, wuti azo sluela, futi sizongoba. But if you can help it, don't test them. Avoid oversharing. Because it attracts the evil eye. Protect your blessings at all times. And it absolutely sucks balls that we have to protect our blessings even from people that we're meant to share them with. Our family members. Oh, agumona, agumona. Don't get me started, Ngezalap. Our friends. Oh my goodness. Speaking of evil friends, Mandy. Lee Kuzwayo's ex-best friend is said to be the main reason that Lee Kuzwayo's marriage is now falling apart. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the signs are always there. But because we love so hard and because we adore our friends so much, we overlook them. People warn us against them. We see them. Tina Matupa. No, coma. But we still choose to keep them in our lives because we give them the benefit of the doubt. We make excuses for them and we're like, oh man, she's going through a tough time. It probably sucks that she has to witness me constantly this happy. She's only human. She's bound to feel a little bit of jealousy. But the minute she struggles to control it, the minute the jealousy overpowers her, ooh, 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 your life is in danger. Because tell me why Mandisa felt the need to post Lee Kuzwayo's picture. Etagiwe, epetugila. Aguna mganwam. Ozo tatis tombe sam, video yamo. Any sort of evidence of me at my lowest point at my most vulnerable state i posted what was the reason <laughs>
Yes. Yes. But why the fuck would you possibly uh, cross out? I go get all the time to shoot the land. Your friend boot again. People need to see the drunk. Your phone wasn't lost. Let's start there. People that were there need to know that your phone wasn't lost. Were you doing that your because you were saving yourself? Lost. Were you doing that because you were saving yourself, or were you doing that because it was jokes? Be honest. I was I was doing that because of, we were saving. I was saving myself. Oh. People are saying we stole your money. Good tweets and nani. Why would you steal your money, friend? You are a friend. So I got I'm coming. So you were drunk. That's a fact. That's a fucking fact. So you were posting to save yourself. Man, just say we went to see. I couldn't get on the scene. Zilen cool. No ways. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let this one go because whatever it is. Friend, you you were out of it. We no one stole you started you started saying somebody stole your money. Okay, okay. In my mind is wait. I'm not gonna read Linda by show right now because it's gonna infiltrate my mind and it's gonna poison me. Yeah. Let me show you. Because I think it's both of you guys I wronged. You wrongly said, get in, get in. Friend, you said when you 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 paid like one thousand dirhams, which I did, which you, you did. yes, which, which I did. Okay, when you cocky, look at your name, Matthias figure, yes, yes, so that's fine. And then, yeah, what's in like California? When I'm telling you that, being a lashing, so it's not so important. I tell you, oh, when's it and look, I'm gonna friend. So people are saying now, your phone is a lost. Which I say, really my friend, the Abandi Batabang and Bali, Abakon and Apo, where are they when it does a corner's like a gill? Do you understand me? So now we look as if Tennessee lets us say, I'm a thieves. No, so I didn't like that. Abandi Mantabasi show on your life, they are saying things that I do not really like. For instance, I would never Sabangani, or when are, when are you gonna go live and say things like that and you are saying it about us? It's wrong. That's why people say end your life or stop it, whatever the case is. No, that was really wrong. You know what? Several long silly sinky singer case and I don't think I'm gonna go out tonight. No, but it's it's people's choices, it's fine. Only why I wish Ndewa was here. People are saying something else now. No, it's fine, I'm also seeing the comments. Um, I'm trying to understand what he be posting. He pass it out, say post it because he, you know what? Um, posting he pass it out. Then who comes? Can I show you? Because yes. the only time I've ever been passed out, you. and I remember posting. Nay, I want to show you. Nay, because there's a sound. You were sleeping on my. You were sleeping on my thigh. Let me show you. Nay. This is it. And I'm certain there are many other foul things that happened behind the scenes. But we heard Uli. She said, We and her sister constantly tells her, But because she's a genuinely good person, she chooses to only see the good in people. And that's always the downfall of good people. People show you who they are and you choose to only see the good. Even if it means good, that's what you do because you're a good person. But there's a very thin line between goodness and stupidity. Once they know the type of person you are, once they know that you're forgiving, you're loving, you're generous, they will do to you <laughs> the wildest things. And you'd think otherwise, you'd expect the complete opposite. You'd expect people to be good to you because you're good to them, but no. No! When you're a decent human being, when you're kind, when you're loving, when you're forgiving, we slima. We spoo we zalwa. They take advantage of you. But the minute you hey, put your foot down, shinto ba kombi sibuti. Now we are wazuk shinto kan pum pendu ngonyam. Pendu gimamba. Batuga batak. Kan now we are wazuk shinto. 
and they may start to treat you the way you deserve to be treated. It's so unfortunate that sometimes you have to be an asshole. So Lee Kuzwayo is currently going through a divorce and it's all thanks to the shady and dodgy dealings that went on between her ex-best friend Mandy and her soon-to-be ex-husband. Allegedly! Let's put aside Uptagat. Here we see Uguti Bunamatota Anga Neliswa. You can have the baddest motherfucker on a motherfucking planet, but still, what more did this man need from Lee? What more? And then you have people within your circle who are supposed to ride for you, who are supposed to love you whole heartedly who are supposed to wish you the best meanwhile they wish they had your life they're supposed to be your sisters you introduce your man or your husband to them as their brother-in-law and our friends, our sisters, our cousins, the biggest snakes of them all. I truly do wish Lee Kuzwayo all the best and I commend her for walking away because most women have this disease of overstaying in crappy relationships and enduring BS and it needs to end. Well done, Lee. You will find someone who deserves you. You may be in excruciating pain right now, but Kuzozula, you will learn the lesson that you needed to learn and you will live the life of your dreams. I promise you that. And quite frankly, I mean, I points It's time for people to start suffering the consequences of their vile actions. Because we were taught to let go, to forgive, to move on in order for the people who wronged us to get away with murder. You know who I'm talking about. They colonized us. And at this point in my life, I do believe in revenge. I do believe in back to sender. With that said, guard your heart and trust your gut. The red flags and the signs are always there. Do not hide behind the saying that the heart wants what it wants. When you have a fully functional brain, use it. Because if you don't use your brain, even in matters of the heart, it will definitely lead you to your demise. In closing, I want us to gather in the comments section and I want us to discuss why women stay in unhealthy relationships with all the knowledge that we now have with all the evolution that we've undergone with all the education we have why do we still stay in toxic relationships in relationships that no longer serve us be it romantic or platonic why do we do that to ourselves let's talk about this we know for a fact that people know exactly what they're doing. So why do we put up with it? Let's talk.